Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our expert blind playthrough um, of the game. It is the last part of the Ludern region, most likely, as we're having a Ludern tomb here. I still need to explore this one, but it doesn't seem to be as important. Uh, the red infestations can wait for now. Uh, we have, matter of fact, two of them here. I haven't uh, seen the need to get them yet. We got all of the oils that we need on our weapons, so really no improvement needed there. At the moment, we're actually doing quite well for ourselves. Okay, cool. So, let's explore this tomb together, shall we? I can't help but think this whole thing is a huge waste of resources and manpower. Everything would have been so simple if the people of Harag weren't so headstrong and superstitious. Now that they've seen how determined we are, I hope they will know better than to stand between Alazarian scholars and their tombs. I'm heading back to Alazar to report on our success. Winfrith will see to the artifact shipment. Take this as a parting gift. All right, we got seventeen the torches now. This tomb are finally within our reach. Everything we've done, all the risks we've taken, all the gold we've spent, our efforts will finally pay off. Join me one last time, and together we will uncover the secrets of this tomb, avoid its traps, and defeat its creatures to unveil the treasures hidden within. University of Alazar and its leaders are forever in your debt. Good, let's escort the professor, Winfried, who, by the way, is a professor without even being a scholar. That's ridiculous, my friend. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. before we go in, small little trick that I learned. First, we want, if battlefield is indoors, uh, enemies start with surprise. That's exactly what we want. A bit of that and a bit of that. And a few sausages will do the trick. Good. Now that we do have a full bar, let's make sure we're getting swift progress. Um, earns more loot. Sounds like a good idea. Respect for the enemy and overflowing motivation so that we can go through it a little bit uh, longer. Cool. Right. Sounds like a good plan. Let's explore this Ludern tomb together with more XP and even better fighting stats. Okay. We're already finding quite a bit of loot here actually. This inscription reads Horun, maybe the name of a woman of that statue. This inspection reads Narsus, maybe the name of the man in the statue. Maybe, maybe it means something else. It's definitely a good starting room with all of uh, the loot in here. Um, we're going to take a ride. Use a torch. The spiders will burst in flames and the path is clear. Uh, 
These warriors were buried in the same time as the main occupants of the tomb. Hard to say whether it was honor or sacrifice. Nice. Color, uh, color of loyalty. Um, every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain uh, one valor. That is great. And a codex and two torches. Hmm. Well, we do currently have the protective co uh, color. If this unit dies, it survives and the color is destroyed, which I really like because it gives Roby a second life. But in the limelight of what actually matters in combat, which is Valor Generation, that's not too bad because uh, this co uh, color would give us the ability to generate Valor with him. And the one thing that I learned about this game is you want a very, very stable source of Valor Generation. Um, and if the bear can kill someone and you get a valor for that, and that's even better. Typically going for archers and um, low hit point targets. Of course, we're going to be ambushed, but I think uh, we will start with a surprise round. And it says here enemies reinforcements are coming. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five here and a couple over here. So it already has shown us where the enemy is located that's good am i forgetting anyone no i'm not zoe dilly uh miss grell That looks like a very appealing hit of four targets for me. All right, let's do exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. can't hit four if it's not a bear. You need that extra size of the bear. But yeah, four is better than three. Orderly. Sprinting in, and we know exactly that there are enemies here. It's just a matter of finding them, right? Okay, gotcha. We're being ambushed. Nothing new here. But the front line moves in. And I appreciate that we at least know, with that surprise, where the enemies are located. Enders is soon moving in. Not yet, not yet. Haha, <laughs> we could capture him. Should we actually do that? Do we n need another prisoner? I mean, for fishing purpose, yes. Uh, for fishing, what else could we do with them? Already got one. I wonder if, if you can make them full companions at some point. Um... Good question. You know what? Let's try it. There you go. JP Pauly moves up to here. 
and just deletes both of them. Sprints over here. Very, very good. Okay. They are not strong, but not knowing where they are definitely puts a strain on us. Good, we're getting some better. Resets the movement. There we go. And Creeper dies. We don't have enough um, skills to kill the next one. But the torches are just so incredibly good in this dun uh, in the dungeon environments. I wish there was an ability like fire arrows where uh, someone is starting to burn the arrow and you could essentially just shoot them to here for instance. Your round is starting, we know that you guys have been coming in. Let's start with that and that. Moves up, moves to here, shoots and kills, and we're hiding behind Miss Grell. you what sprinting over here starting to kill both of these guys Should very much deal with the reinforcements. Mora takes a hit. And Mora takes a kill. We're moving back into the light. And another Morret uh, joins up. These guys keep coming over and over and over. There we go, let's build a front line. The fights definitely take longer now, more just overall more enemies apparently yeah and we can't really do much here
think they are over here. Yeah. And I figured correctly. Oh yeah. Galvanization procced. Well, that was one-sided, but um, I, I must say the darkness mechanic really is intriguing. Problem is potentially that we only have one character with a torch. If we had another one, uh, the whole thing would be much easier. So we're in the next room. Let's inspect this monolith. A scholar uh, companion might be able to decipher that. Oh yeah, we have a master scholar here. The inscription reads, Beware whom you challenge, intruder. Know that Narsus never lets an offense go unpunished. Narsus was uh, the male ranger at uh, the entrance. So maybe he's a god and not just a human ranger. We're going further to the right. And uh, we do have the yellow uh, facing triangles. Or it could be the sense of time. Yeah, you know, let's call it the sense of time. Breaking into the tomb. Would be funny if uh, the purple weapon would already be located in here. What do you mean the grave is empty? That's impossible. The pro professor was injured. By the all seeing eye, it's true. The grave really is empty. I don't understand. The sarcophagi of the ancients always contain a body. This man must be somewhere around here. Let's look for him. Human uh, constitution reduced to half. Well, Professor Winfrith, you are finding yourself in a tough spot. Whilst we are learning a couple new runes, you've discovered the rune a lake. Yeah, nothing in here. I think this was just a trap, and I was very surprised as you can hear. Why would it be so easy to get to here? It's unlikely that that would happen. Okay, we don't have a golden key, but we hopefully will be able to get one. The statue in the other tome um, was one where we could put sapphires and other gems in it and then maybe there is a way to deal with that you've gotten yourself a ruby okay so far we only know the yellow sense of time i'm still looking for other signs here But there seems to be nothing. Let's continue our journey. It's potentially time for a couple more creepers, right? Door is locked. That's where we need to go. Another manual, which is great. I like that. I have to wonder what are the other two signs. Capture 
execute, let go. Hmm. We're capturing it. Well, now we do have a plague written red. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with it, but I think we will find a use. Reuse by one the amount of terror applied to this companion at the end of the turn. That's good in the nightmarish um, scenarios, but it is utter garbage elsewise. I mean, we have one here, which yet again is good in the nightmarish realm, but not very good outside of it. So maybe there is going to be a time when we're just fighting against nightmares in which case we would need those okay nothing here still no further sign let's explore to the back Horon, you who walked the path of the stars first, soon reuni reunite together. Uh, that would be the female warrior. I think at least. Nothing here. This is more moving towards the entrance. Your companions can hear a raspy breath echoing against the walls. Suddenly your torches illuminate a distorted face. Well, told you it was time for some more creepers. Five, six, seven, and a couple over here. Now we do have a plagued rat with us. I most certainly do not want to fight a completely separated battle. So Namri will stay here. Polly charges in and gets these guys down. And I need Miss Grell to inspire a few of uh, these guys. Yeah, triple inspiration doesn't look too bad. Unfortunately, you can only inspire someone when you can see them. Yet again, a hardship of the mechanics here. All right, moving in. Grell immediately engages. So does Namri. Jim moves up, best friend bonus right there. Uh, okay, that should have hit actually, but okay, whatever. There we go, we got Fury for the next round. Um, I tell you what, moving a slight bit up here, hit, 
hit, hit, hit, kill into that. Full Valor. Yeah, and I think we're okay. We can't do much anyways. Zoe, on the other hand, single-handedly can kill this guy and finish her turn. Roby moves up. Hits the red. We are charging to here. And that is how you score a triple, a triple kill, or at least a double. Nope, there is the triple. Good, Plague Infested Red participates in combat and uh, hits this guy for 37. Not really great, not bad either. It's now red on red. There are still a couple of enemies there, and reinforcements come from the north. Good, Enders takes the trash out. There we go, baby. Roby begins to engage, because why not? Enemies move somewhere in the dark. No one really knows. Grell and Namri are being a nice front line here. Pretty sure we're going to find something if we're just moving deeper into the darkness. There we go. Ready for more? And more means more and more rats for now. Moves over here. Can't hit anything else because we well, can't see them. It's a bit of a waste of action points, but uh, of valor points, but okay. Archers, it's really the worst. They can't do anything here with that darkness. It just stinks. Alright, the red bro moves up. 
We're half as sure if I like having a plague dread in our team. Tell you what, if it for whatever reason survives uh, this dungeon, I might consider taking it, but it will just make the fights longer, so potentially not even that. Alright, new round is starting. Jim uses that in order to lay waste. Okay, there is only one creeper. So how where could that guy be? Potentially up here. Might be wrong. Okay, fantastic. Well, that ends the uh, combat. And Roby got a level up. Oh man, we should celebrate that. Good effing job, my man. Um, tell you what, more movement will be helpful. There is no such uh, thing as too much movement on a bear. Strength and constitution increased by 10% is good. This unit's attack of opportunity, ignore the guard. That's not bad either, but I think this overall will be better. Well, it's just straight up massive stat bonuses. And we're now at 888 uh, hit points. Oh yeah, that's good. Plague Red. What can a red theoretically do, right? So willpower, not good. We're not even going to bother. If we were to skill it, it would be fast. It has way too little hit points. And it has way too little damage to be meaningful. So altering between the two, what are we getting at the end? 20 hit points and fever. Hmm. What are the traits? This unit kills an enemy. Now nah, we're taking the cheese. That's good. Uh, calls on one unit of a uh, of its type. Can only use it 50% health remaining. Two units of the same species have this skill. They have a chance to reproduce and spawn another unit after rest. Oh my god. Un uh, rage at night. Unit ca uh, cannot die from damage caused by bleeding, poison and burning. Well, that's pretty damn good. Doesn't make it immune, but... These 78 hit points aren't absolutely hot as well. This guy is a bit uh, more of hot garbage for a level 9 creature. It only eats two, but and it kind of serves for itself. This would be something for an alternative playthrough where I'm just taking suboptimal uh, creatures. Please don't kill me. I know it's sacrilege to even enter this place, but I beg of you, hear me out. I was standing watch outside to stop smugglers or Alazarians from sneaking inside when this vile creature attacked me. A rat! A plagued rat! It lunged at me and knocked me over, then ran inside the tomb. I tried to catch it, of course, but it managed to escape. And then, if you give me a cure, I promise to help you. Otherwise, at least let me go buy one from the smugglers. Cool. Wait, what? Is he joining us? He has runner. Wild marking. Um, marks the target. Sickle throw. Has no traits. I think he just wants to get out of here. 
Plague Dread found a little bit of cheese. Okay. Good, that's the entrance. Trust me, if you go into this tomb, I will follow you. Okay, I trust you with that, but trust me equally, we need to first of all get rid of uh, the Plague Dread. I don't want the fights to drag on longer than they are. So, I'm sorry, you have to go. I'll, leave, uh, I'll set you free. We have a second uh, captive, Harun. Not sure what we're going to do with him yet, and the professor can sit down as well. We're going to go in again. My main problem is I forgot to load up raw ma uh, mm, repair materials, so maybe we can dismantle something. Uh, that one isn't needed. Okay, we got some materials out of it, and that's good. That's all we needed in order to repair up. Good, Pervert and Harun kind of can um, can become friends here. Maybe we can really befriend one of these guys. That would be great. They apparently have no specialization and can't really fight. But he has the trait raised by boars, so he has willpower plus three. At least as long as they are near a boar in the camp. Well, we don't have a boar, but we do have a bear. So suck it up. Back into the tome. Okay, this is where we found him. Perfect place to actually hide one of those one of those signs. Yeah, but apparently I'm wrong. No such luck. Let's explore further to the left. There is the destruction rune, very nice. Learning something every single day. Okay, we got the yellow sense of time and we got the red TIE fighter. Pretty sure this is yet another fake tomb. But we get a lot of sandstone. Where are the bodies? My patience has run out, mercenaries. What should have been the discovery of the century is turning into a humiliating failure. We m well, my dude, don't be so quick to give up. Let's, let us just do our job. Send yellow sense of time, red TIE fighter. We just need uh, the blue sign. Can't be that difficult to find. It must be somewhere here. Preferable in that uh, location. Three paths hang upon you. A banner hangs in front of each. Which are you taking? Path of the moon, path of the stars, path of the sun. Um, wait, what did the statue say? Pass first, soon reunite together. Pass of stars. Okay, blue sense of time as well. So 
So yellow sense of time, blue sense of time, and uh, the red TIE fighter. We got the golden key, and I'll do this puzzle real quick. There we go. Got the rune and uh, the puzzle done. So, with our new knowledge, I think what we want to do is shortly open that um, that lockbox here. Get all of the sweet, sweet belongings. Learn the unstable oil after taking an enemy in close combat. 25% follow up to follow up with an attack of opportunity. Oh, that's a good one. That would be cool for Jim here with his spear. Although the poison is also quite good. Maybe for uh, for. JP. Every time skill deals damage, 50% chance to also deal 50% damage to enemies next to the targets. Now, that's actually better. Um, but Ender Senders could use it. Would give up 10% um, critical hit chance. After taking an enemy in close combat. Yeah, well, it needs to be someone in close combat. 25% um, makes it a little bit low. Multi-attacks are the key here. Good. Master Scholar. Red TIE Fighter. And double sense of time. Okay, getting the hang of it. There's going to be a final battle, so ready yourselves. So, six here, six there. How do we deal with that? Um, Miss Grell. If we move to here, that's a triplet. That's good. Moving into the direction of the enemy. That's on the other hand a problem. Still hit, frees himself up. Moves up. Freeze Roby up. And uh, then moves closer. Roby does what a tank needs to do, which is engage in melee combat and just block the entirety here. Good, our archers are doing reasonably well. Like I said, they are potentially the ones that are uh, in the worst possible position.
In the meantime... Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're clearing out the front line. Getting more Valor as new enemies approach. Okay, this is easy. That tells me we shouldn't uh, even stay here. I was expecting someone to come from the side, but it's completely false assumption. Good, filling up all of the Valor. Move to here. These small reds have 102 hit points. That's actually not bad. Uh, they are doing something different than our Plague Red. But yeah, it doesn't matter now, the Plague Red is gone. Two, three, four. Okay, we need to go down here and protect that flank. <laughs> okay. That changes things. Quite a bit. Okay, we need a front line down here. Moves over. That's a solid kill. And I th yeah, I think we're just going to stay here. Best friend bonus. Give up that other flank. Just too many enemies. It's not worth it. <laughs> Healing up Dilly just a tiny bit. That was a nice uh, series of hits. But they are dealing too much damage to ignore them. Take this one out.
couple of hit points regenerated, which is bad. And I think we're just staying here for now. start to slash these guys. bleeding and uh, as we know from pop culture if it bleeds we can kill it if you get the reference leave a comment down below and let me know if you know what I'm talking about weakening the rat and hitting it okay cool Okay, new round is starting. I think there is a unique opportunity here. back mainly to protect our back line a little bit this will generate Valor and we're moving over here that's a nice hit Destabilizing him, followed up by another good hit and a kill, triggering galvanization. Which tells me we're almost at the end of this long enduring combat. Okay, that took a lot of effort. We definitely can't repair everything, but we can heal. And now all of our healing is gone as well. Just in time. That's how you know that you had a hard dungeon. It really took all of the resources off of you. Discovered another rune. And this is likely what we have been coming here for. Blessed be the all-seeing eye. Oh, I was starting to lose hope. Good thing this room was the last one. Grab what you can. I'll handle the bodies and scrolls. Hurry. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Let's not waste any more time. The trackers could return at any moment. Hmm. No purple fragments that is a major disappointment really ah that is not good i was hoping for another unique weapon
Hmm. That's not good at all. I mean, look. We do have, I think, three, four even of uh, the precious fragments. We just don't have a purple one. Typically, those are the ones that you come uh, in for into the tombs in the first place. Well, maybe this is just an exception to the other tombs. Hmm. It is what it is. Maybe he grabbed it, which would really so suck. It was you. The night the beast appeared and killed the best trackers in Ludern. It was you. Why? So that you could sneak inside our most sacred place and plunder it? No words can express the contempt and disgust I'm feeling. I'll not waste another second talking to rats like you. Well, let's say unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in. Without armor, this is going to suck. Oh boy. Well, luckily for us, the battlefield sort of favors us. And we got a bear as a tank as well, but is indeed also quite lucky. Because the bear doesn't care about our armor situation, right? Uh, Roby will need to tank most of this stuff here. Tactical orders, yes please. And I would like to... hmm... To actually engage this guy before he can engage us. That'll give us the Valor point back. Wow, 55 and marked for death. Oh boy. Like I said, this is going to suck. Orderly for both of you. Engage him. And remove his guard. This destabilization is helpful. Let's move up. Roby starts tanking. Again, no point in wasting more time. Jim over here. Starts with his best friend bonus, and we're getting some Valor back, which is helpful. Gotta take care of that side right the next turn. Uh, 
This will open bear versus bear. Okay, gotta be careful, they have two attacks, which means if we're really low on hit points, we can't afford that because that would kill. Into three, not good enough. with a thousand fifty hit points get the F out of here and slowdown doesn't even help us because yeah we we need to set him on fire good gotta clean up the back here These guys are bleeding. It's a good start. Not perfect, but okay. Bleed damage will deal a lot of damage um, to high hit point targets. is important because the bear will take an absolute massive amount of damage from that to heal our bear because he's going to be our main tank and also we'll steal some extra damage to the other bear enemy is still too far away which is good might as well get both of these guys down. pretty low and has bloodshed but I want another turn of it we're staying here waiting for them to come I think for most of them we can actually wait an entire additional round and focus on the bear Still hit, even a pushback. Good, we can poison and bleed the bear. Just stacking a lot of relative hit point damage onto it.
Yeah, these guys will not have a chance to reach us and we need to quote unquote kite a little bit. Oh wow, that and the runners might be a problem, really. Let's focus on them first. There we go. Thanks uh, to massive crits, that has actually helped us. Miss Grell is looking really bad, not in a good shape. Lots of damage being dealt. Tactical slam wouldn't really do much. Namri has the same problem. 50 hit points isn't really enough to do much. I'm saving my Valor at this point. Bit of a cleanup needed. I won't overdo it. I could have slaughtered, moved here, and tried to go with that slaughterer. I think that's just pushing it a bit too far. Five hundred and eighty hit points. Great. We're taking a bit in return, which was to be expected. Not sure if the slaughterer can reach us, but I have no desire of finding it out. What I will tell you is I can do a round without you. No problem. Charges over here and make sure that we're healing. Another high hit point tar uh, target bear. What kind of level is he? Level nine and Roby? Level eight, but Roby has enhanced vitality and is confident, whilst well, this guy has no traits. I'm looking for an opportunity to upgrade. The question is, is that bear the one? What's our chance of capturing him? You know what? Let's just do it. Bleeding. And we're burning, which is which sucks. Can't let that happen. Because it will spread, and we all know that we don't want kind of the burning uh, chain had to happen. It's the wolf, it's it nicely, 
then gently ends his life. Okay. Well, that's, let's say, starter, like that. Robius, our tank, moves up and begins to engage. Anders moves up here, wants to kill. Uses taunt in order to trick that guy into killing himself with a knife. Nice opener with bleed. Followed by a torch. Followed by the normal strike. We're down to one hit point, which tells me a sprint and a knife is all that's needed. Surround this guy. Thanks to galvanization, we're having a lot of damage. Even the tanks hit hard <clears throat> if uh, galvanizing is up. Bear is nicely set on fire. And we are dealing heaps of damage. Oh yeah. More, even more. Three hundred and thirty, I think that's the highest crit I've seen in a while, if ever. Ooh. Level eight, secret hunting technique. That spear, we've already gotten one. Poor fellow. It must be hard to lose all of your friends. Then see your beliefs quashed by a bunch of strangers. Good thing we freed him from this torment. <laughs> okay, I've definitely sided with the bad guys. You carried out your mission most honorably. Thanks to you, the University of Alazar now has new mummies and hunts for your reward. How about their relics? As beautiful as they are. They hold little interest for us. The time has come to part ways, mercenaries. Before you go, I would like to bestow upon you the title of Knights of Alazar on behalf of our kingdom and university. Bear it with pride. Okay. And yeah, we finally got the tre treasure of the ancients. I think we've seen everything we wanted to see. This is where we part ways. Good, we got a bear here. Enhanced vitality, raised by boars. Uh, but he's club footed. Whilst Roby is confident uh, with higher, uh, with higher uh, willpower, which means new bear has got to go. Although 
although he was one level higher. Uh, whew, yeah, you know what? I tell, uh, tell you, that was an exciting journey. And I think it comes to the end of uh, today's episode. We have seen everything that we wanted to see in Ludern for now. Uh, finished the region, which tells me we really have the Gosenberg and the Drombach border crossing, but is left over. And I think we might need to go to Drombach. Drombach. Yeah, let's just try that next and see how we're doing. Um, Gosenberg. I, I don't know which one is higher level, but we're going to find out uh, one way or the other. For now, uh, the group says thank you. If you enjoyed the to uh, tomb hunt, uh, then uh, leave a mummy like below. Wrap that like button in mummy wrappings and uh, tell me if you could preserve it. Thank you and have a good one.